Hi, um, I'm here to start my very first <laughs> video for lessons. Um, I'm going to start with something very simple. Um, most of the supplies you probably already have around the house. Um, even if you have like computer paper, a newspaper, Amazon <laughs> box or the packing that that comes in. Um, sometimes it comes wrapped in paper. Use that. I mean, use what you have. Um, this lesson will just require paper and a pencil. So even the pencil that I could find this morning wasn't great. It had spray paint on it. <laughs> but that's all you're going to need today. And we're going to be learning all about texture. And texture is basically what artists use to make something look either very realistic or to just add another element to it. Um, there are four types of texture in art. Um, one is actual, and that's if you can actually touch something and you'd be able to feel if it's bumpy, smooth, rough, things like that. Um, that's the actual texture. Um, the next is simulated, and that's kind of where we're gonna be today. We're gonna work on the simulated, and that's just something that you make it look like it would feel. Um, if you've ever seen a drawing of an animal and it looks furry, you know when you touch that pencil drawing, it's not going to feel like fur, but it's going to look like it. So and that's how artists use line to create that texture. Um, abstract is the next one, and that is also something we're going to delve into today. We're going to be making up patterns that create a texture, okay? Um, and then invented. Invented is more along the lines for collage and things like that. So we're going to focus on simulated and abstract today. And we're going to be creating a landscape. And a landscape is simply creating a scene or a scenery. Um, when you look out your window, there's trees, there's grass, there's other buildings, there's different things around you. So if you look over on a field or something like that, you could always do something, you know, that's considered a landscape. So that's what we're gonna work on today. And we're gonna be adding a lot of texture to it because historically, um, landscapes have a lot of texture. You've got the green grass, you've got the trees, the bark on the trees, the leaves on the trees create a new texture, things like that. So we're gonna do a very simple landscape today and I'm gonna be showing you how to get started, okay? So here I have the simple drawing of just a landscape. I did some hills and a sunset behind it. You could by all means do this lesson with marker if you have that or colored pencil if you have that as well. I'm going to do it simply with pencil because I know most people have a pencil or something around their house. So I don't want to use any supplies that some of my students might not have. So let's get started. So here is my landscape. I did it very simply. I just did, oh, I did some spackling yesterday, so <laughs> my fingers are a mess. But I just did very simple hills you know, and separated them. By all means, if you want to do a different type of scene, maybe you want to put some trees in, or maybe you want to put a river going back, um, maybe you want to do it as a cityscape and stop here and maybe put some buildings in the back and have the sunset behind it. So there are pl unlimited things you can do um, with your landscape. Um, I'm going to start back here. And what I want to do is I'm just going to start making some shapes. I want it to be closer together, so I'm just going to add some more in. And I'm just going to keep going around. And as I'm building this out, you're going to start seeing the texture. It's almost going to look like wood. You know, when you cut down a tree and the knots of the wood. Now I'm getting to the horizon line here. 
So I'm just going to start from the horizon line for the rest of this part. And I'm just repeating it. And that's what's going to create the texture when I'm done. So I'm just repeating and repeating until I get to the edge of that particular section. So you want to think of where you see texture around you. It's all around you. If you look at the bottom of your sneaker, there's a texture there. You look at your pants, there's going to be a texture there. Fabric has a texture. Um, if you look at pieces of wood, maybe furniture, things like that, they all have a texture on them. So you can kind of get an idea of the unlimited things you could do. Now I want this to look like kind of raying out. So maybe I'll do for this one, I'll do some zigzags. And I'm just going to continue coming up with ideas. And I hope you come up with some cool ideas yourself. I'll show you what, what it's going to look like. I'll go a little faster now and then I'll kind of show you how it comes together. So as I'm working, I'm trying to think of different things, um, either from nature or from around my room <laughs> that I'm sitting in, to create these textures and to come up with ideas. Um, this could be feathers on a bird. It could be the scales on a fish. Um, you might want to do something that's like puddles in a pond when you throw the rock in. So try and think of ideas that are around you. You know, maybe the shirt you're wearing today has a pattern on it that you could use. Um, the wood grain on the table you're sitting at maybe has a p pattern that you could use. So think of things that are around you to help you come up with ideas for each section. Okay, also utilize what you know about shading, about value, how dark your pencil is, and how light you can make your pencil. That will give you the illusion of smoothness as well as three-dimensional on your paper. Um, so don't be afraid to put dark areas next to light areas. It'll just make it more interesting to look at your landscape. So I'm just about finishing up, just filling in some of my last little spaces that I want to fill. And that is my lesson on texture. Now you can use this, you will be using this in the next project as well. So keep in mind of all the things that you, um, you learned, um, how to use pattern to create a texture of something and start thinking about things from nature as well as maybe just made up patterns. But I wanted to show you my final design. I don't expect you to finish this in one day. <laughs> my hand hurts. <laughs> but um, work on it and try and look around you and start being more observant about the things around you and what they feel like, what they look like, and just kind of have fun with it and make your own textured landscape. Use what you've already learned. Um, use what you know about shading and different values of the pencil. Um, you can by all means do this with colored pencil as well. It comes out really cool in colored pencil as well. Um, and I hope you had fun with it. And until next time, Hope you're enjoying your break, kinda, sorta. Um, <laughs> but I hope you have some time to do some fun art as well.